Hello Taos, reporter Jesse Moya here. Now let's take a look at what we have coming up for you in this week's edition of the Taos News. Starting off in tempo this week, our cover story is on the Blues, Brews, and Bikes Festival featuring Magic Dick of the world-famous Jay Giles Band at Taos Mesa Brewing. This show is shaping up to be one of the best benefit festivals to help out incarcerated youth in New Mexico. In addition, we're also covering the Sharp Gala Weekend, celebrating one of the great art heroes of Taos. Temple will also have coverage of a flamenco performance with lots of local color, the week-long Somos Poetry Festival, the opening of this year's Taos Opera Institute concert series, and the bench plays out at Meta Theater. All that plus a movie review of Wonder Woman in this week's edition of Tempo. In sports, we cover Red vs. Blue, the North-South All-Star Extravaganza and games are taking place this week. Read Arsenio's All-Star preview in this week's sports section. Also, read about Arsenio's first trail description in his summer series on accessible trails in the Taos area. For our lifestyle section, find out from a local Taos expert how to rearrange a home into a comfortable, energizing space using ancient feng shui principles. Plus, while goat heads may get a bad rap for tearing up tires and paws, they have an herbal benefit that could help your romantic life. Also, don't miss our native plants column on building a moon garden. In addition, our parenting columnist Shanti gives the lowdown on how to help kids understand and practice healthy relationships while business columnist Bernie Linartz discusses the first among equals practice for good bosses. And in celebrating local history this month, reporter Cody Hooks and myself revisit the Rio Riva courthouse raid of 1967 and find out what it meant in the timeline of the Chicano rights movement. We speak with Chicana activist Enrique Tavasquez to get her take on those tumultuous times. In other news, we visit Taos Ski Valley and see just what people are up to this time of year when normally considered the off season. You'll be surprised to find that there's a bit more going on that normally makes headlines. In other news, reporter Cody Hooks brings us a follow-up story on property taxes in Taos County by looking at one landowner with the forest of Ponderosa Pine on the outskirts of Penasco. When he got his notice of value this spring, he was shocked to find the classification of his forested lands to be different than decades before. It turns out, his situation points to larger ongoing issues with the infamous agricultural exemption. Well, that about wraps up our preview. Be sure to grab all of this and more in this week's edition of the Taos News. And remember to check us out and give us a like on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great weekend, Taos.